Trial of Justin Whaley continued into its second day today at the Hamilton County Courthouse. Whaley charged with vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated in the death of James Brumlow in a July 2018 crash in Saudi Daisy. News 12's Nick Hill was there as the focus of the case shifted to the nature of intoxication and the road where this crash happened itself. The lack of an immediate breathalyzer test conducted on Whaley in the immediate aftermath of the crash was a source of conflict, as a toxicology expert gave his opinion on what Whaley's BAC could have been at the time of the crash. One expert says he used a process called retrograde extrapolation to attempt to estimate Whaley's BAC. Retrograde extrapolation is the process using a BAC at a set point to calculate a previous point in time. That expert shared his estimate for Whaley's BAC at the time of the crash. He said that he believed his BAC was somewhere in the ballpark of 0.056 and 0.120. The legal limit in Tennessee is 0.08. The defense disputed the accuracy of this reading as they cite the equation used as outdated. Also discussed at length was the intersection of highways 27 and 111. A TDOT safety engineer said in an inquiry he did between 2015 and this year, he found that 45 crashes have occurred at the interchange. Out of those 45 crashes, only one of those was a wrong way collision, this one. Additionally, a Hamilton County medical examiner testified to the nature of Brumlow's injuries in the autopsy that he conducted. He said that Brumlow died from a combination of numerous injuries, including traumatic head and neck injuries. The most serious of them, he said, was a basilar skull fracture. Additionally, the first EMT who arrived on the scene testified saying that when he briefly spoke to Whaley, he smelled a, quote, hint of alcohol but did not believe he was intoxicated. In Chattanooga, Nick Hill, News 12.